Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. The US has once again offered its THAAD anti-ballistic defense system and the Patriot Advanced Capability Defense Systems to India, as an alternative to the Russian S-400 system. The Trump administration has made the offer once again, as it simultaneously extended and reeled back assurances, and India's purchase of the Russian system could now attract sanctions. There have been some walking back in recent weeks, coinciding with Trump administration's efforts to prevent Turkey from going ahead with its own plans to buy S-400 systems, while Saudi Arabia is also planning to procure the S-400 systems from Russia. The S-400 system is five times cheaper than the THAAD system, and while the THAAD limits the user's ability to use against NATO systems, the S-400 has no such limitations. The S-400 can counter a target moving at a speed of 17 km per hour, which is only 8 km per hour for the Patriot. The S-400 locates a target at 600 km distance and can target it at 400 km range, while the Patriot can locate it at 180 km and target it at 100 km. The deployment time for S-400 system is only 5 minutes while the Patriot takes 25 minutes to deploy. Experts have said that the countries seeking effective defense against aircraft and missiles will have to buy both Patriot and THAAD system, while the Russian S-400 system can unite both their functions. According to top experts, Indian Navy's experience of operating a former Royal Navy aircraft carrier could have led to their preference for British design for the third aircraft carrier. The INS Virat had served the Navy for over 30 years, and was decommissioned in 2017, which was replaced by the INS Vikramaditya, whose purchase was a military-industrial nightmare, and it still faces significant issues related to power plant boilers and propulsion. INS Vikramaditya and INS Vikrant are both ski-jump carriers, designed to use MiG-29 carrier-borne fighter jets, but due to problems with the aircraft. The Indian Navy is procuring 57 new carrier-borne aircraft. India is said to be considering to install a catapult on the third carrier, and Dassault Aviation has said that the Rafael M could also be adapted to fly from ski-jump carriers. Experts have said that India might select the Rafael M, which would be mid-priced and potentially suitable for all three carriers in all configurations, if both the catapult and ski-jump variants were adopted by the Indian Navy. The Rafale seems to be the favorite to win India's MMRCA contract, and a purchase of 57 Rafale M fighter jets seems to be the most likely for the Indian Navy. Six Apache helicopters will be a part of the Army Aviation Corps, and the Indian Army will continue to push for more Apache helicopters, as the Army Aviation Corps will require over 200 combat helicopters of mixed configuration to provide effective aerial protection to its strike corps. The light combat helicopter will be entering limited production by end of this year, and the Army Aviation Corps has already ordered 114 units. The LCH will make the bulk of the Army Aviation Corps requirements due to its effectiveness at higher altitudes, but the Strike Corps requires the ability to carry more air-to-ground systems with larger range, which will be limited in light combat helicopter, thus arises the need for the development of indigenous heavy combat helicopters. Hindustan Aeronautics needs to be commissioned to develop a new heavy combat helicopter, using the LCH baseline design as a reference point. The rise of China's defense budget has helped the development of its military-industrial capabilities, which has elevated the profile of China as a regional and global defense supplier. As its defense industrial sector has matured with time, China reduced its dependency on imports, and today it imports only components like engines from Russia, to equip its domestically designed and produced platforms. A particularly successful niche for China has been the area of unmanned combat aerial vehicles, as China is the world's leading exporter of armed UAVs, with sales of 153 drones to 13 countries. 
China is also building four advanced naval ships and eight new submarines for Pakistan, and is also selling its long-range CH-4 and CH-5 armed drones.